Mike Kelton, and I'm a business development manager at Honeywell Intelligrated. I'm going to go ahead and start playing a video here for a short uh, understanding of what TechSite is. Fast issue resolution is essential for maximizing uptime, and your maintenance teams are the front line of defense. But as many DC operators know, it's not easy to find, train, and retain qualified technicians. Introducing TechSight Smart Glasses, a hands-free live video and audio platform that gives your technicians access to our support experts. With secure networking and augmented reality overlays, TechSight allows for guided step-by-step -step instruction and greater DC connectivity. If you're ready to limit downtime and enable real-time access to the industry's premier service network, TechSight can help you bring fast issue resolution into view. Okay, so what is TechSight exactly? Uh, that video kind of explains a lot of what it does, but ultimately it has the option of having a hands-free augmented reality solution that connects technicians that are physically on site at a facility, whether it's a material handling facility, um, bottling, using palletizers, uh, any sort of facility that people are on site can connect back to our technical experts um, from our technical support team. So like I said, there is a hands-free augmented reality option. I actually have a pair right here. Um, and so what it allows is um, a see what I see troubleshooting aspect. So because it's in a first person view and you're hands free here, um, you can actually uh, be working on the, the problem, solving the problem, troubleshooting while you're actually able to, the experts are actually able to see the actual problem as well as there's a screen here and it's hard to demonstrate this over the web, but there's a screen actually floating out in my virtual space. Um, and that actually can allow me to see what I'm like, like a diagnostic uh, diagram or something that allows me to solve the problem faster as well. So um, uh, this will ultimately allow to quickly diagnose critical issues. Um, and the, the whole point is really a picture is a thousand words while having a live stream video is even more, right? So um, we're trying to decrease that unplanned downtime. So anytime there's a problem or there's something out of the ordinary, uh, by able to get by being able to get the right eyes to to see the problem can help you know solve that problem. Uh, reduction in required maintenance skills. The video hinted at this, but getting qualified labor um, ready to go and and trained and ready to solve any problems on site. Uh, that's hard to find. So having a, someone who does know the problem, just kind of direct someone who may not know the problem um, makes it, again, go faster for solving that downtime. Down again, it also allows for subject matter expert access from anywhere. Uh, so video enablement technologies obviously have, have blown up in this current season that we're in. And so by, um, by utilizing these technologies, we can definitely get the right people to see the problems. And then, of course, reducing cost of travel. In fact, we can't even travel some places right now. So by actually utilizing something like TechSite, we can actually, again, uh, get eyes on site. So like I said, uh, there's a, a hands-free augmented reality solution. So that's what I have here. Um, that This is the Vuzix M400. Um, so it's an Android platform, uh, and it, it's built for enterprise solutions. So you might have heard of Google Glass. It's very similar, but it's more for the enterprise versions. Uh, it does have a camera on the front here. I don't know how well you can see that, um, but it is a 1080p camera and it allows for 1080p capture. So um, again, that, that first person view that allows for kind of that see what I see perspective. Um, there, there is able, you are able to actually mount these on safety glasses. So if you're required to wear safety glasses in your facility, you can actually mount these on them. Um, and then as well as if you're having um, like the audio, there is a built-in audio speaker here, but if you wanted to connect your own Bluetooth headphones to be able to get a better um, sound perspective, you could actually uh, connect those as well. So this is kind of, um, it's hard, again, hard to explain what it looks like when you're wearing these, um, but essentially there's a screen floating out in your, your space. And this kind of shows that, that picture there on the right-hand side where it's like, there's actually a screen kind of floating out into virtual space. Um, but yeah, again, it's hard to show that without wearing them. And then, you know, the expert side is just usually in a web browser um, or in a different like Zoom or, or Teams meeting where we can actually, you know, see the first person view. So this is a, a, an example of 
something that we took from a first person view screenshot where someone is looking at one of our sortation equipment. Uh, and, uh, and then on the left hand side, you can actually see that we're, you know, showing what uh, a diagram of one of the pushers on that sorter looks like. So um, that's actually showing up in the person's screen that's then floating out in that virtual space. And then, of course, we can do remote zoom and then we're also being able to, you know, capture the video if we need to. Like I said, um, you know, video enablement technologies have actually, again, risen to prominence in today's kind of world. So um, we do have that augmented reality solution, but we, the availability of these can be limited. So we, um, our technical support teams are using Zoom in Teams to really drive towards that video enablement technologies. Again, it's all about that see what I see perspective. So by getting more people or the right people to see the you think we can actually like solve the problems faster. So that's the, all the intent. In fact, we've seen a few uh, uh, particular use cases where we've actually seen a 50% time reduction in solving uh, what problems used to take, say, an hour, now take you know, less than 30 minutes to solve. Um, again, it's all about just, you know, finding the right person to, to solve the problem and having the right eyes see that problem. So um, again, we're trying to make it easy uh, for our customers uh, to, to integrate and work with our technical support teams, because ultimately, um, when our technical support team, uh, if our technical support team is doing less, that means the customers are doing more. So, um, with that being said, it's a pretty short presentation, um, and you know, uh, I'll open it up for questions. Okay, it doesn't sound like there's any questions, so uh, I'll go ahead and end that presentation. Again, my name is Mike Kelton with Honeywell Integrated. Thanks for joining.